Yo, what's up? Name is Jet Leo One, and welcome back to some more Xenoblade Chronicles. Last episode, Dixon ran off like a punk and left us to fight some demons and then raise up an elevator so we could go after him. We've done that, so let's go after him. Teleportation! Location, Great Canyon. So, we got some more stuff to do. I'm hoping that I get through this fast enough to be able to uh, get to Dixon. There's minor warning. Might not, because there's a lot of stuff. This game likes to taunt you. Because they've done that, what, three times now, I think, where it's like, major moment, and then, hey, go unlock the seals if you want to go to Prison Island. And then, hey, we're about to go fight Eggiel. Oh, no, go push four buttons so the teleporter works. And this part's just evil. You have to run along this bridge, and then these AI are scripted to run into you. So that's a three AI fight, and it'll probably draw in these other NPCs off to the side. So you're going to have your big fight on your hands. And that's just dirty. But you'll be able to make through it just fine make your way through it okay yes you'll be able to make through it that makes perfect sense to everyone doesn't it no okay and then up here as well is a good trick or no I guess I was wrong I distinctly remember that there was a teleporter I think it might be that one if you go back down it there's a unique enemy waiting for you at the bottom so welcome to Gondor Shrine or Gondor Where Cathedral, I think. What is this place? It looks like this place a is crazy awesome, isn't it? Yeah, Gondor There's an Cathedral. Altar over there. These have scary faces. Hmm. We better take a look. This is scary. We better look closer. Dunban, the bravest of them all. Okay. It's creepier up close. See, Why are there sure. spines? This indentation. Blade. It looks like something should fit inside it. What is this, Resident Evil now? We know, need to go get the door key? Yep. Ricky we beat that like last LP. Here. It's probably a way up to the top. Probably. Could it really be that easy? Yeah. There's well, no considering we have to go it. find what to Let's put in there, it is, I guess, that easy. But it's not going to be easy to find whatever has it. So here's what you do. We've got to use the dragon summon. And this is incredibly awesome and incredibly annoying. I like this part, but I hate this part. I wonder, I don't think there's anything that side. But what you gotta do is go up these stairs. There's gonna be a bridge full of battles. And on the other side of the bridge, there's gonna be a bell. And you use the bell. Yeah, that door's shut. Never mind, you can't go that way. So you have to go this way. You have to go the right way, or. Technically, this is the left way. And up there, Giant Bell. So, uh, I've played Dark Souls, and hopefully you've played Dark Souls. So, you should know that ringing a bell just leads to more trouble. Or, ringing a bell is trouble. So, you see these guys on the side. Unless you're massively overleveled when you get here, those guys are going to lock onto you and fight you. And then the Lias flying around are going to lock onto you and fight you. So you have to fight the pairs of the gargoyles and the lias. So it's a very hard fight to get through here. This was the point where I went and gave up and just went and level grinded until I was level 80. And I came through and I tore everything apart. Because after you ring this bell, unlike Dark Souls, you've got to ring the bell and then the stupidly difficult boss comes out. So we have a laser bell ringer, which is awesome. Somebody invented that already. And this is just so majestic. You've got the evil red sky on an evil tower. Use a dragon summon to summon Calamite, I guess. It's like purple Calamite. It is Dark Souls now, isn't it? But luckily they're kind enough for this. You climb to the top, but you can just fall to the bottom. Wow, we fell from the top of the tower and we did not go deep enough in the water to hit the bottom of it. It's kind of crazy. But now for the hard part. So Larithia was very hard. This is just hard, but it's still hard and I'm going to tell you why 
and it's going to be one of the most annoying. Like the end game part of this, Lorithia to the end is very, very difficult. So this guy, this guy, as you may see, well, it won't let us lock onto him from here. But when we get down here, as you will see, this guy is Dragon King Alcar. He lives up to it. Level 79. So he's going to actually be able to give us a challenge. Leave it to rhyme. So Shadow Eye. But what makes this guy dangerous is he's, he has a damage spike. So I didn't really go over spikes, but they are attacks or like status effects that whenever you do something, uh, like whenever you attack an enemy, they will counter with it. And what Dragon King Alcar's spike is, is a uh, high damage spike. So you take 450 damage when you hit him. But using Monado Purge, luckily, Monado Purge will turn off spikes. Which is great, because they count as a type of aura. But it's still very bad, because it turns on very often. Alright, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and click break. And spikes do kick in, which is mildly annoying. Spikes do kick in in chain attack, which is kind of. And then we're going to topple. But whenever they're toppled, it doesn't kick in, which is good. So then I'm going to... As you can see there, I inflicted days, but did not take 450 damage, which is great. Um, let's click... Chill, I'm going to go with. And that ended it, it took too long. We did it! But while down, or while toppled, spikes don't take into effect either. Great, and I can use my auto purge while he's toppled. But we'll let seal, and then we're going to be fine. For a pay or tail, deal lots of damage. So he's getting beaten up pretty badly, pretty quickly. Which is good. But he turned around so back. He turned around just long enough for backslash to not work. That's cheating, you dirty bugger. Alright, let's turn that off again. Ah, Vision of the Future, haven't had one of those in a while. So he's going to use Bastille Sky 5, which is pretty weak, because your shield goes up to 10. That's Aura Seal. And then with Warning, I love that you can do that. Whenever you use a Warning, you can sit there and cheat and warn a character, and it will instantly refresh skills. So you saw Riki use his heal. And then Riki just used his heal again because I was warning. So that's Dragon King Alcar. And he's really hard because of the spike. But if you know that Purge shuts it off, you do better. And if you know that Topple shuts it off, you do better. Riki's good to have for that fight. Really good. Because Aether attacks like Burn Innate, Freeze Innate, and whatnot do not uh, initiate spikes. So Melee is really good as well. Melee of Charlotte Riki, once again, really, really good for this. And then, if you don't feel like using Topple or Chain Attacks or Monado Purge, you just don't know about that, which now you do, so you have no excuse. But if you don't want to do any of that, uh, you can just equip Anti-Spike Gems. And we'll just, you know, kind of nerf him majorly. Can't even... He I can't can even do anything. Dixon. We must be near the top. If yeah, we we're getting near the top. Here. If you proceed from here, you can't go forward. So, make sure that if you have anything left, that you want to do any more side quests, any more level grinding, make sure you're at least level 80 before you get go through this gateway. But yes, once you I'm do, ready. there's no going back. And you really won't want to either, so... Aren't you scared? Once you're ready, you do it. No. You go. You win the game. But still, we Let's must get it on. done. Agreed. We know what we're fighting for. What am I, I fighting for? Everyone. <laughs> Dunban? Oh, sorry. I just got caught up in the moment. Come on, Dunban. Oh, don't get all emotional on us right. yet. Let's go. 
You can break down in happiness after we've saved the world. With this, the future is ours for the taking. Let's go take it. Meanwhile, everyone else still fighting for their lives. Don't worry, we're gonna end this soon. We've got you covered. So the half Homs High Antioch are still fighting. Atheron's got his sniper rifle. We're not the only ones fighting. Believe in Shulk and the others. There you go. Believe in the us who believes in you, who believes in the us who will save the world. Stick to it. Understood. But you might want to dodge those Power Ranger explosions. It's a, it's a Cerberus Telethia. It's got three heads. But uh, we've got, apparently, the Mechon are just as angry as we are. like their wars with just the Telethia now. Egil got through to them. On. They're on our side now. They used to be Homs, all of them. And they everybody's fighting different. to survive now. But they all want the same thing There as are us. no enemies left. Juju, let's go. All right. At least, no sentient ones. No fully sentient ones, I guess. Telethia don't really count. They're mindless monsters. They run around and shoot things. With laser beams. So as you can see, we are close to our destination. So I will indeed be beating Dixon up this episode. Which is great. Because revenge is always sweet. Hmm. What are these doing here? There's like these little tablets to the side. They don't do anything though. They're not like teleporters or anything. So here we are back at the top of Prison Island. We got to teleport here the first time, but we had to walk all the way this time. But this was where we met Zanza first time. Dixon. And it looks like Dixon's decided Can that this is where he's going to have his final shulk. battle. Waiting. I'm First sorry that you honestly think yeah, you could win. That's what it's come to. Or will you just shut up and let me kill you? Nah. We'll I'll probably shut up because I'm just focusing on killing you, but you're not gonna win. Wouldn't you're very strong. I've been but for Lord I managed to beat you at I level 76 so he could without even on. being able to hit you. I've come back at level 81. Such power. What are you gonna do? It's all down to you that I'm standing here. Ready for you now! I've beaten Enough. you once. Shulk hasn't, but I have. <sighs> and I'm gonna do it again, because I have even str I have this ultimate weapon now. Dixon. Even your true form is not enough to stop if me. If you're so determined to stop us, then we will kill you! Let's see if you'll mean it. He's got a really cool sword. I want that sword, but you can't have it. So you gotta go crazy on him. Disciple Dixon. He's very strong. We get some poison on him. Topple, daze. I was too late. And some topple, daze, and backslash. Whenever you see Chaos Dash, make sure you turn away from your opponent, because he will hit everyone in a line. And your teammates can come pick you up just fine. And it's important in this that you make sure the aggro stays in the right place. Even though he can't really hit me very well. Move out of the way. It hit me anyways. That's one thing that bothers me about this game's uh, mechanics is that if something's going to hit you, like if the game has already gone and been like you were in the way when this ability was launched, 
then you're gonna get hit. It's kind of stupid. I hate this. Days. No art seal though. But here's another thing that annoys me: when dazed or art sealed, like if you can't use skills, the skills do not cool down. But in the first, in the sequel, Xenoblade Chronicles X. I think they're fixing this. They've got the cooldowns, but they've also got tech points. This is getting boring. So I don't know if they're going to use art seal. No I did not see in the demo if they have items or anything. I don't think they do. So the problem of art seal is still going to be there. Inherited Maynet's power. But whatever. Not her power. I think they might have removed art seal, I've which would be great. If not, you just hop That's into mech and kill him. Say, oh, what's that? You're using Art Seal? Well, the Memories mech just uses are. chain guns and rockets. It doesn't need Art Seal. So Can't Dixon comes in two phases. To kill anyone. Why are you fighting? You're helping what are you fighting for? A world where nothing exists. What could you possibly hope to get out of it? <laughs> Only those cookies. with power have the right to decide such things. I'm going to go with cookies. You're wrong. He wants to bake Zanza the greatest plate of chocolate chip cookies ever. Fights. But other people and keep getting in the way. Like so he's going to do it the hard way. He's going to leave Is nothing but the earth itself. And he's going to hand it's mine the out the metal for the oven. Reason. He's going to hand make the oven. He's going to Maybe hand generate the electricity to power the oven. He's going to go and grow the resources for the cookies himself. You will never get away with this. And then he's going to bake the perfect plate of cookies. Without then any chance for anyone else to get in the way of the room. Also, look at that. He's got like, oh, like an organic material gun. That's crazy. But that does explain why he has that gun sword when he's normal human. Who knows how much he's got a transforming sword gun. Better say goodbye. Shut up. It can't be. I'm fine. I'll carry on fighting beside you until the very end. Fiora. That's what I like to hear. But the end's not coming. So you're just gonna have to keep on fighting. Get blocked, son. What's that? You're so strong, but look at what the power of maximum social links do. Lost the Monado, I'm holding it. Game consistency. Pay when attention. You can't. It's time to learn your You're supposed to have the fake one, but it still doesn't matter. The fake one's still strong enough. And once again, just like with good old Mumkar, somebody standing there threatening Fiora, talking big, and then Fiora just shoots him in the face. Now that's what I call awesome. Take what you want. There's no point in dying. You're nothing! We're nothing. Except we're out leveling you. Equal Show and out leveling you. What you're made of. You got that right. Come on, man. Let's get him. You don't need the Monado to take down this piece of stuff. I've got Orpheus sword so I don't need the Monado for anything. No. Ricky, no! Ricky, no Shulk brave! Ricky want to see the old Shulk! Shulk is real hero -pon. Let's go. Real power comes from within. And from the fact that you can't lose with me. In your own true strength. How could we lose with you, Don Ban? The answer to that question is no. You can't. Here we go. Cutscene power in our favor this time. Let's finish this. You got that right. I will not fail. With your faith in me. And our strength combined. I will not stray. We I will this. not falter. This is the sure. end for you. You're never gonna make this worth my while. Ah. Yes, we are. Can't be that power. This is the power to decide destiny. We're going to decide it. So once again, Disciple Dixon, nothing changes. He 
we've been waiting this. Same HP, same defense, and same attack, same moves, nothing special. Chaos combo, he doesn't do anything different. Alright, so here's the plan. Chain attack, so I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna backslash. And then he's. Oh, uh, he's not broken, never mind. Coming in, bind him. Alright. Get the B button. And this time I'm gonna go for the topple. Because I didn't realize he wasn't broken. The break faded. Poison. Not immune to poison, eat it. Wild down. Ha! No escape! Okay? Into a daze. Keep it up! What you gonna do now? And then chill. That's gonna cost you. And then you're still toppled, so I'm gonna daze you again. Just extend it. Punishment of an extreme nature. So now you see the power of the party attacks. I haven't been demonstrating them because I haven't been battling much. I haven't needed them. But here comes a vision of the future. Chaos bullet six. Only six? I've got Monado Shield 10, scrub. But I get to cheat because I can sit here and heal Ryan again. And then just Monado. No, not Monado. Not the enchant. Never mind. Well, I screwed that up. Whoopsie. I forgot where Shield was, but it's not like it's going to hurt Ryan anyway. What you do? You light heal. It's gone. All the damage you just dealt is entirely worth it. Holding back anymore. And we said that a few hundred times. Oh no, Ryan went down. Somebody actually managed to die. But then we just picked it back up. And that's why I don't use the party gauge, because it takes one party gauge to pick them back up. But I've got so much party gauge going right now, it doesn't even really matter. Shield is too okay. There's shield. Another shield. What moves you got? You ain't got nothing that pierce this. Chaos punish. Oh, he's about to. Oh, I blocked it. Nice. That's surprising. Chaos punish didn't qualify. All right, time to cheat. Good break on an enemy in front. He resisted it, that's shooting. Three key heals self. He knows, he knows. Just kind of gauge. That, that was it? You got any heat like that game? Alright. Silent chaos. The purple attack, can't block that. But I can do this. Bonato speed. Save us from harm! And that didn't change anything. Dang it. Very good, nice. Everyone, let's go! Heal some damage, but it doesn't do enough to kill him anymore because we healed him. Stop resisting. Your mind and heart surrender, so are you black and heart of surrender, so why does your mind resist? Because terror does not surrender. Nice. Don't even need to. But what I do need to do is this. We're going to have to wait for the cutscene of justice next episode. So this has been Gently One, and I will see you next time.